Jerusalem's cultural scene is getting a big boost with the opening this Thursday of Yes Planet, a megaplex with 16 screens, an IMAX theater, and a 4DX cinema. It will be open on the Sabbath, which is drawing the ire of the religious residents of the city. IBA's Ari O'Sullivan was there and filed this report. It's a 200 million shekel investment that hopes to become a cultural anchor in the holy city. Located off Hebron Road in the Abu Tor neighborhood, the cinema complex is putting Jerusalem on par with European capitals to bring Hollywood's latest films. The swing complex boasts 16 screens, an IMAX 3D theater, and a 4DC cinema with movable chairs and other effects. We want people to travel from long distances to come to the IMAX cinema. So for the cinema, it's an anchor attraction that people will come to this cinema because there's an IMAX here. So, you know, geography is really, really important and making sure it's the right location and the right screen height. Home entertainment centers have certainly cut into the cinema-going crowd, but cinema managers say that there was no need to eulogize movie theaters just yet. I think that people think that home entertainment is uh, something that will, uh, you know, kill the cinema, but people are... Uh, uh, mourning about the cinema for more than, uh, I think, 40 years. Uh, I think this is this kind of top of the art, uh, state of the art uh, cinema experience is giving people something that is different. The opening of the S Planet tonight in Jerusalem is going to give a cultural boost to the city. People coming here will be able to have an experience they haven't had before. They can go to an IMAX theater, they can go to a 4DX film, and there's 16 theaters here. The question is, will it be able to survive the cultural diversity of this city? The city will be burned up one day when the missiles start flying from Iran because of the Chil Shabbos in the city. That's what I think. Why? Because that's what's written. The city's Rav Hen Cinema, which is open on the Sabbath, will be shutting down tonight as Yes Planet takes its place. But within the confines of the status quo, some city officials say it shouldn't be allowed to operate on the Sabbath just like the rival Cinema City Complex, which opened last year. We said that Jerusalem is a special city. And if it's a special city, also the, sh the Shabbat must uh, look like a special city, not like other cities in, in Israel. And uh, most of the people that live in Jerusalem, also the unreligious people, want Jerusalem uh, continue to be with silent in Shabbos and not with cinema in Shabbos. And so Jerusalem's special character means that even the opening of a new cinema can be a volatile event. Ariel Sullivan for IBA News. Turning to